Hello, Phil here from Wings of Pegasus and welcome to another analysis video. If you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. On the agenda tonight, we're going to be looking at Popper Chubby and this is coming from 2011 and he's going to be playing through his version of Jimi Hendrix's version of the Billy Roberts track, Hey Joe. So let's get him up on screen and see how he gets on.
just going to jump in here because we've got a really good amount to get into and there's so much going on so far. I think we're going to have a bit of a dynamic change coming up because we've been really into the lead so far and we will be just taking it down like I mentioned in all the other top performances. There's always got to be that light and shade. But what you get straight away from this performance is the intro. He's not going to be going straight in with that vocal so you can tell straight away it's going to be his own version, his own interpretation. In terms of the lead, obviously the control of that vibrato that we get with his bends and it's really aggressive sometimes, which I love to hear, especially when you're playing something that's really based in that minor key. Even though we've got some major parts coming in, he does go towards that major key but then sets back into that minor and also throws in that natural minor sometimes as well, which gives it an even darker tone. So he really does stick to all of those minor lines and it's interesting on this angle that we can see here, look at the action that he's got. This is something that comes up in a lot of my videos where people say that players have a high action or is seen as a high action and you can see that Papa Chubby plays with a really high action because look at the amount of space you can see between the guitar, the neck and the string and that's what the action is. If you don't know what action means, it's the distance between the string and the fretboard and generally a lower action will mean that it's easier to play and you might be able to play a little bit faster. I did mention in a video before about being half as low again to the fretboard means you'll be able to play double as fast. That isn't the way it works, but just to give you an idea of what having a lower action means, it just means it takes well, a less amount of time to push that note down onto the fretboard because it's closer to the fretboard. But there is that different interpretation of what is high because you'll get somebody that plays with maybe three millimeters, four millimeters. That scene is quite high in the professional game. Here, I mean, look at that. We're, we're maybe talking five or six millimeters. So it's a really high action, especially working up towards we're kind of 15th fret, 17th fret, you can really see how high it is. But it doesn't affect his playing at all. In fact, it's probably just how he likes it in terms of wrestling those strings, just really getting a hold of them. Obviously, the higher the action, the more you have to push down and then get into your bends. You can really wrestle the guitar and you can hear that. And another thing that we've got in this version is a really authentic take on the Jimi Hendrix version in terms of the fills that we've got going in there. And I know that Theodore, and that's his name in real life, Papa Chubby, I know that he did grow up with Hendrix in terms of listening to it. I know that he was born a little bit later in the 70s is when he grew up and 60s was when Hendrix was around in his prime. But he listened to a lot of Hendrix and when he's learned to play guitar as well. And you can certainly hear that influence, the way that he's throwing in so many Hendrix-esque lines, but then also putting a little bit of a twist on it as well, which is great to hear. Another thing that I love about this performance is the way that he throws in his own vocal melody in there as well, just a slightly different take on it, as well as all these lead notes as well, obviously playing and singing at the same time, doubling the difficulty, as I always say. But when he goes, hey Joe, where you going with that gun in your hand? And he keeps that hand, gun in your hand, which is lower down normally. So he's just keeping that tension in the vocal. In terms of the melody, it's a lot more expressive keeping those notes up there because he's not resolving the line. It's something that musically, I just really love the way that he does that. And it's something that you're not expecting. It's just putting a different twist on that original vocal melody. And throughout this performance as well, of course, we've got that wah-wah pedal going all the time. And that is what's being used on that semitone run-up, that classic Jimi Hendrix line that he played. It's just opening that wah-wah with every pick. And it does give it a unique sound and it's one of those things that if you don't play guitar you might not know what that sound is but that's all it is just opening that wah wah pedal another really subtle thing to look out for the way that we're changing tone here all the time in terms of that pickup selection on the guitar you can see right at the bottom of the screen I'm not sure if you can see it on this screen but at the moment he's on that neck pickup so he's all the way down getting that mellow sound and then in certain sections he'll then flick it all the way down to that bridge pickup to get that more more trebly aggressive sound obviously this sound is being flavored by that wah wah pedal as well by leaving it in a particular position and we've had that on a few videos where 
players are leaving it quite open in order to get that contrast of that really bright high gain sound against the mellow sound of having it closed. But let's get back into the performance. have it let me just mention as well the fact that we've just got a three piece here again it's something that flies under the radar when you're listening to a great performance but also a great three piece in terms of the tightness and sometimes when you do get a three piece if one player is off that is it it's game over you have to be tight and a quick shout out to Chris Redden and AJ Pappas on bass here because without them being absolutely solid the whole thing would fall apart and it's always the case with every performance of every band and you've got to have that solid tight rhythm section but again getting into the performance we had that dynamic change that breakdown that I said to expect because it always happens with the top bands we had the bass totally dropped out we then had the drums as well dropped out apart from just striking the sticks together in order to keep the timing and to get everyone to clap along so we really just brought it down to the guitar and who was looking out for that pickup selection because we went into one solo section where we were on that bridge pickup and then within a couple of seconds he was back on that neck pickup just to get that different sound just to make it more interesting with his lead so there's such subtle changes going on here but it all counts all of these tiny little details add up to just making it interesting throughout the whole performance the whole six minutes 45 it's not a short version of the track it's not like three or four minutes and a lot of it is lead guitar so to keep your lead interesting for this long is tough you need a lot of techniques you need a lot of expression but also so you need that change in tone vocally as well there's a great voice great blues voice going on in there and it's one of those things that sometimes gets overlooked with great guitar players is their ability to sing as well because that's a whole nother art form and sometimes if you're not a natural singer you have to work at that just as much as your guitar playing you have to work on your vocal technique as much as your guitar technique but a great performance here throughout great expression in the vocal but also through the voice of that guitar and it's one of those videos you can rewind it back to the beginning 
watch it again and look out for these subtle changes, those changes in tone and also flavoring that tone with the wah-wah pedal and also great fills here as well by Chris Redden on drums, just absolutely solid throughout and also that bass which is AJ Pappas who's absolutely laying it down for the whole performance. Like I said, they're just as important to the track as Papa Chubby and his singing and his lead guitar. But thank you so much for suggesting this video for me to take a look at. Keep those suggestions coming in the comments below. Let me know what you guys think. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you guys at the next one. Rock!